Congratulations, Coach. Big win tonight. Uh, three set win. Uh, take down RGV 25-18, 25-21, 25-20. Talk a little bit about the short turnaround you guys had um, from New Mexico to get ready for this set, um, to get ready for this matches. Well, we had to reschedule our New Mexico matches, but those were important matches to play. Um, New Mexico State is a team that's at the top of our conference, and you have to play that kind of competition if you want to grow and progress as a team. And while, you know, those losses, we took those losses, we actually grew from that match. Um, I don't know that we play as well tonight if we don't play those New Mexico State matches. While we were out there in El Paso, Texas, playing New Mexico State, the team found a vision that really fired them up. You know, we're, we're in the middle of a really tough, really weird kind of season, you know, and this is the moment where it's like you have to find the reason to keep going, to keep progressing. And they absolutely did. We had a moment in a meeting room in El Paso and we're seeing like the result, like we're seeing kind of like the reward from their like refocus mentally tonight. And I hope we continue to see it tomorrow because that was, it was beautiful volleyball play tonight. I think we had, sheesh, most of our hitters hit over 300. We had three hitters in double digit kills. That's a great night for us offensively. It's, that's exactly what this team needed to come out and attack. Um, you talked about your hitters uh, hitting 300. You also hit um, a season high 325. Um, talk a little bit about um, the rhythm you guys were able to find tonight. Well, as he, again, you know, I feel like I talk about her a lot. I feel like we have to talk about her, her a lot. Um, that she's doing great things with the ball. She's taking more attempts um, offensively, which is what we need her to do to open up some gaps for our hitters. And I think you saw, like, it, it made it really hard for um, UTRGV to close the block against our hitters tonight. And so what that did is that opened up just a lot of court for us to be able to hit at. So our hitters had a lot of variety, line, angle, tooling. I think Julia tooled the ball across the entire court a couple of times tonight. And her ability to be able to do that and hit those balls so well is because Esgi is delivering a beautiful ball. She ran a play out of serve-receive once. I think it was a double quick. Um, with Julia and Lauren that we haven't practiced at all. So as much as I'd like to take credit for that play, because it worked out beautifully, I can't take credit for that play. Like that's Esgi getting creative out there in the court. And that kind of independent thinking is what I want from this team. So she's doing a, a bang up job at getting our offense going. Um, in this second set, you guys were back and forth the whole, a lot of the way. Um, you were trailing 19-17 late. Go on, you end up going on an 8-2 run to close out the set. What was the turning point for that kind of, or the uh, the message to try to get you to get that second point of this, uh, the match? Well, I think I called a timeout. Um, and when I talked to the team, I just talked to them about us. You know, um, that's what our vision is about. We play for each other. Um, we focus on what we need to do on our side of the net. You know, it's it doesn't matter who's on the other side. Like, that's the X's and O's piece. It's the intangible stuff that gets you wins and losses in volleyball. And so in that timeout, I, we just talked about us. And I really think Eve went back there. We got a side out. Eve went back and served a bunch of balls in a row. I may be in a different set, um, but I think I'm right on that one. Eve goes back and serves very aggressively and very well from the inline. And, it's you know, Eve normally isn't the one to go on a serving run for us. But that's what we talk about when we talk about playing for each other and having each other's back. It's, you know, you step up and offer what the team needs in that moment. And nobody has to be perfect because we're there for each other to, like, pick up the slack. So the fact that we were down was no big deal. Like, we knew we had what it took to take care of the ball on our side of the net in order to put us in a position to win. All right. Looking forward to looking towards tomorrow. Um, what changes or kind of how do you build off of this? to go forward and try to get the sweep? You know, it's honestly, like, I'm, I'm going to say it, like, I, I hate to give away the secrets before the set, but we're just, we're going to keep the focus on us. Like, it, it's something that we really need to do um, is make sure our game stays sharp. Um, it's a thing, you know, this is a very weird season. It's a season, but it's still our off season. You know, we still have to prepare for a fall that's coming up very quickly. Um, and so we've got to keep the focus on us. We've got to keep growing as a team and that, you know, that takes risk, you know, that takes creativity, you know, that takes like focusing on what we're strong 
and what we're good on. So that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on our highlights. We're going to focus on things that we do well and kind of lean on our strengths a lot. All right. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations again. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.